I'm here to explain the biblical understanding of beauty with brains. I mean, the Bible talks about Esther as a woman who was good to look at. Are you good to look at? You're beautiful. Amen? Echokula vikovlu unjicha wakatonda. Kemi usually tells me, tulino kunyidida kubanga tuweleza katonda nenda, nenda bika ya fe. So to look good is godly. Why? Because we serve a king of kings. Amen? Kings do not look at ugly things. Tulifena, waliola veyo kavaka, anonyaba chala ababi. Tuogela kubansi. Yanaba sose. <laughs> Have you ever seen a king that looks at ugly women? Oba waba anonya abachala. Nagamba, bagendeva anonya abachala ababi mwenaronda gwena wasa. Waliochi ulideko. Kati gwenga gomana wakatonda. What gives you the permission to not look good? Amen? Awotuveo. In the Jewish tradition, it was a must for them to have beauty treatments. Beauty, a beauty treatment is godly. Abasaja, mchala wa kwata sento zimui. Mugambe, genda komu make up. Genda okoleke njala. True beauty comes from the word of God. The word of God tells us you are beautifully and wonderfully made. Even to have your symbolsy. When God was creating you, he took his time to, to make you look the way you look. Chandivanga gwete chiku sanyo sa because you're defining yourself from the standards of the world. Tulifena, nti beauty, according to the world, is nyash. Because you don't have it, you have started wearing things that do not reflect the God you serve. Tulifena, beauty according to the world is having a certain skin tone. Tulifena, that you rest in the beauty that God has given you. Because your identity is not the world. Your identity is the word of God. What the word of God says you are, that is who you are. Amen. The word of God says we are rich. He has given us every blessing in the heavenly places. Gwenodeyo no gamba nze sima nyoba nafu na sente. Gwenani. Fabalo kukane tutegere chigambu. Nja zifuna. In fact, sente zija kunonya. Tulifena. True beauty comes from the word. That is one of the things you should take. 